Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, perfect, we're live. So, on this second episode of our show named The Three Musketeers, we're gonna be talking about female genital mutilation in Kenya, also known as FGM. And my peer Nicholas Vasquez is gonna be talking about legal frameworks regarding uh, FGM in Kenya. And what are you going to talk about, David? I'm going to talk about the obstacles that Kenya has to go through for the mitigation to work. In, in other words, the obstacles to the success of mitigation. The Republic of Kenya strongly believes that FGM should be prohibited. A law was passed during 2011 that states all forms of FGM are strictly prohibited and will be severely punished. Kenya describes FGM as com compromising all procedures involving partial or total removal of the female genitalia or other injury to the female genital organs. What do you think about FGM? Do you support it or...? No, I believe it's a terrible practice and it should be eliminated, just like Kenya is trying to do, but the statistics show that um, Kenya, although the law was passed, um, the people are not following it because, because of tradition, you know? People follow the tradition and because of that, we we can't achieve what we're trying to do by passing those laws. So, as I was saying, Kenya describes FGM as compromising all procedures involving partial or total removal of the female genitalia or other injury to the female genital organs or any harmful procedure to the female genitalia for non-medical reasons. Section 14 of the Act Against FGM states that no person shall subject a child to female circumcision early marriage or other cultural rights, customs, or traditional practices that are likely to negatively affect the child's life, health, social welfare, dignity, or physical or psychological development. One of the laws slash actions taken to decrease FG FGM in Kenya is adopting a legal definition of FGM and consequences which will apply to the people that perform and are involved in FGM practices. Now to David Cardenas. Right, and everything you were talking about makes total sense. Kenya is trying to eliminate FGM, and unfortunately, there have been some obstacles for this to successfully mitigate all forms of FGM. And one of the obstacles is that tradition has impeded people from stopping to perform FGM. Because in a family, if a grandparent does FGM, or grandmother, does FGM, then the mother will likely perform FGM, and then the daughter will eventually perform FGM, and laws are unlikely to stop this from happening. Wait, so, so you're saying that if a grandmother starts doing FGM, then the daughter, then the daughter, then the daughter, it just, it's just non-stop because it's just tradition, right? Yeah, basically that's what I'm saying, that since the tradition is so set in stone for communities which practice FGM, breaking the tradition will be like breaking their moral compass. And do you think that, in, is there any possible way to like cut that tradition for the practice to be eliminated? <clears throat> well, I don't think there's one specific way of cutting the tradition, but FGM could be more strictly managed, like, there could be more people seeing who is performing FGM and then having them pay a fine for making girls undergo FGM, but yeah. Um, and another obstacle to the success of the mitigation of FGM is cultural practices. And for basically for girls to be accepted and to fully become a woman, they have to undergo FGM. And this pressure to become a part of something makes it difficult for these girls to get out of the vicious cycle. Now to Adam. Uh, yeah, guys. Like, I totally agree with what you both said. Uh, it's a pretty horrible thing. It's just tradition after tradition. And I'm going to be talking about the statistics about the women in Kenya having FGM. Data collection was performed by statistics in Kenya that... Quote, FGM is practiced across all ethnic groups and religions, although to varying degrees. Actually, 21% of all women in Kenya have undergone FGM. So, how many people in total are there in Kenya, and how many of those people are girls? 
There are a total of 56 million people in Kenya. Six million girls have undergone FGM. Wow, that's an impressive statistic. Um, yeah, it's like a pretty horrible thing that we're still living day per day. And two, 200 million girls and women have been cut in 31 countries. Not just in Kenya, but in 31 countries. In this podcast, you learn legal frameworks regarding FGM in Kenya, statistics, and obstacles to success of mitigation. Thank you. Thank you. And Such now, a Such a bro, like the best podcast. And now, the bloppers, the best part. Bloopers. And so, I have one, one more question. Yeah. Um, do they literally just like scrape everything off? Uh, I really don't know how to answer that question, but you could research it if you want to know. Okay. <laughs> 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 I started. Estoy grabando todavía, solo sigue. Solamente sigue cuando esté listo.